Crucio at Music & More Studio and Promotions located in historic downtown Wilson, North Carolina. And um, I'm a mom, but I'm also a mom of special needs kids. I have three little boys and we deal with autism and Tourette's and genetic disorder and all types of things at home. So it's something that I've dealt with for the past going on 17 years. And we work with special needs children. So I wrote a song for our special needs kids. And I want you to listen to um, what these people have to say. And their stories are great. And if you will, go to musicandmorestudio.com, check us out. But most importantly, please go learn about the foundation. It's musickidsfoundation.com. So I'm not gonna tell their stories for them. I'm gonna let them tell their own stories for you. Landon is six years old. We found out about a week after he was born that he had severe hemophilia A. Um, and then the next year we found out, well, with severe hemophilia, it's a bleeding disorder, so his blood doesn't clot. Um, a year later, we found out that his body was rejecting his clotting infusions. His body had produced antibodies that were fighting off his infusions. And then a year after that, we found out that he had a severe heart defect. Um, so it was kind of like bam, 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 one year after the other. I mean, because anybody with special needs is, I mean, they're, they're the same as you and me. They're no different. They just have different circumstances and different things that they have to deal with and go through, but we shouldn't treat them any different. God doesn't treat us any different, and so people shouldn't either. I think this song, Don't Call Me Strange, I think it's a wonderful song. It's a wonderful expression of what the special needs community oftentimes go through. A lot of times people will shun them or they'll look at them funny or they'll ask negative questions instead of finding out and getting the right information. And so a lot of the kids and adults are called strange, but they're not. They absolutely are like us. They just do things different. And they just, they adapt differently, but they still have hearts, they still have, have emotions, and they still give love. They give love, and it's amazing how they give love. You just, you, we have to, under, we as considered to be normal, how, we gotta understand them. And um, I think this song will really relate to a lot of people and it will help, it will open doors to help others to understand that just because you see a person that may have autism or somebody that may have Tourette syndrome, they're not strange and don't call them strange. Actually learn from them. And you'll be surprised how to open your heart and your mind to help others. My name is Emmy and this is Olivia. When Olivia was seven years old, um, we were sitting down for prayer time one morning and she tilted her neck to the left and I noticed a huge knot on the left side of her neck. And from that day, that was May 22nd, 2010, until July 2nd of 2010, we saw seven different pediatricians that all didn't have a clue what was wrong with her. Um, finally, they ran some extensive testing on her and she was diagnosed with a stage three non-Hodgkin's Burkitt's lymphoma. We spent four months straight in the hospital receiving chemo almost every single day. I'm glad you brought me here. Why is that? Because it's nice and cozy and they gave me this medicine and it made my tummy go away. It did. As it hurt even more. Well, we had been in the hospital for 26 days straight. I can remember this very vividly, and we just really wanted to go home. Um, she wasn't able to hold down food, and she had really quit singing, and anybody that knew Olivia know, knew that she loved to always sing. So um, her big sister came to visit her that day, and she sat down on the bed beside her, and you finished telling that. And she uh, started to play one of my favorite songs. And I don't know why, but I started singing. 
and when I did, I just felt something come over me like I was restored and happy again. So, Olivia Havery, you are going to be the featured vocal for our special needs song for the Music Kids Foundation called Don't Call Me Strange. and a bunch of folks these are yours thank you so you can practice and they're a real set um it's a Christmas yeah it is now you can play